Hey guys, Diablo1 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spawn trap. And basically, how it works is faction members pull lever to get in, but of course, that really doesn't mean anything. It's just a trick the person who's about to fall in. And they press the lever, and then fall, die. And all their stuff goes into the hopper, into the chest. So, yeah. Basically, basically, all you need to do is place pistons and whatever ground material is on the pistons. Like, I put sandstone since the blocks are sandstone. If you want, you can replace these blocks with glass blocks so, like, they can see all the chest and all that to try to make it legit. So, yeah, you basically just set your home in here. You can make this obsidian, whatever you really want. And just set your home here. Whenever you want to go get the loot, you just jump down here. And then get all your loot. But the only bad thing about this trap is that... Is that the, um... What was that going to say? Yeah, like, what I was saying, the only bad thing about this trap is that you could pull it from way out here, but you could obviously make it longer in length if you wanted to, but you would have to do a lot more redstone than you would with all this little redstone. But, so, basically, a spawn trap is, if you like playing on multiplayer servers and you really like want to get loot this is what I do one second sorry you guys I'm back I just had to edit a little bit of the redstone part but so where was I yeah but you could expand this out more if you want now let me show you how to make it bye bye hey you guys I'm back and I just basically made it I just basically made the same exact design, but it would be, but it's like way over there somewhere. But so, okay, but first off, let me just tell you, right when I started to make this trap, like I made the lava right here, like right here, and I did on a lot of multiplayer servers, and usually I get a lot of loot from this. But for some reason, I wasn't just getting any. And then I found out they're burning right here, and then all their stuff burn with the lava. So you got to make sure that they're a distance away so they'll just keep falling. And if they, and to me, the lava's for like, if they have feather falling boots for like any reason, they'd just not die. But you can add the lava, it's really your choice. Because in survival, it would be a lot more hard to deal with the lava. But, yeah, basically, I guess you can make this glass right here. But, you know, like, they can see all the redstone. And you just need to make the sign so you can troll them, mostly. And, as you can tell, I didn't really make this design that's here, over here. I just made it try to I try to make it identical so they both look the same so nobody like it'd just be weird just having one like that and like it's just flat over here so like yeah you just don't want it to be suspicious and oh yeah the bad thing about this trap is this lever wait one second but the lever it doesn't like Yes, it doesn't make it go all the way back to um where it's like that again. So I've tried buttons, but they're not the same at all. But I've tried iron doors, but the lever is just way too complicated. But so, one second you guys, I'm just going to add something. Sorry you guys, I just forgot to add the water down there. But, yeah, that's mostly how you make the spawn trap. For me, I'd recommend doing this on faction servers or 
any servers that you can claim on and I'd make it right in front of spawn so like all the people with prop 4 that are going to look for raids they just go if you're like a really redstone geek which I like to call it I'd put pressure plates so then they keep running and then they'll just fall but yeah so and please like and subscribe and please tell me what what else you would want me to do for tutorials and bye guys